Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to take a look at Render Token which is hoping to make the use of spare GPU capacity in order to improve rendering services as well as much much more. Obviously nothing I talk about on this channel is financial advice so always go away and do your own research before investing any of your own money. Without further ado, let's jump into today's video. Jumping over to the website then, which as always is linked down below in the description, so make sure you go and check it out after this video. You can see that it's all about distributed GPU rendering on the blockchain. Now rendering is basically a term that's used for people doing graphic design, whether that be things like gaming, whether that be digital design like architecture, etc, etc. And rendering takes quite a bit of GPU or computer power. However, that power could be gained from somewhere else if people were willing to put their GPUs to work in order to help and provide more of a solution to the problem. And by doing so, they would then be rewarded through a blockchain system, which is obviously gonna pay them in a token called a render token. So jumping down below, guys, we can see about the render network. The render network is a leading provider of decentralized GPU-based rendering solutions, revolutionizing the digital creation process. So I kind of mentioned a little bit about render network and how it's kind of being used. But they're talking about basically the limitations that are kind of there today and the limitations shouldn't be based around hardware or your computer or whatever's ability to be able to process information. And if you're able to reduce the limitations you have with your technology support through things like cloud rendering services, then this is something that would be of obvious use to you. Render puts the power of GPU rendering at your fingertips at a fraction of the cost and the speed of in-house rendering. It's been around since 2016, uh, based in LA, and has been sort of growing over the last few years. And here there's sort of a video from the CEO talking a bit about what's going on with it, how it all works, so you can come over and check that out. But basically, the vision is to democratize CPU cloud rendering, which ultimately makes things much faster, much more efficient, and ultimately cheaper, which are obviously the main considerations when considering something like this. It also connects people who are involved in different types of rendering work with people who want rendering work done and is ultimately a network where people can interact with one another, where you can find people to do rendering work. So there's various people around the world looking to perform render jobs. The render network can connect people who need rendering work with people looking for rendering work. And then these people are basically rewarded for using the render network. As well as that, if you're not necessarily involved in the space, you can still offer your GPU space for the render network. The GPU owner then becomes a node operator and is able to earn RNDR or render tokens. They do this by accepting jobs from users in need of rendering work known as creators who send their files to the render network where they are assigned to operators. Renders receive a small percentage of RNDR paid out in order to maintain the network and facilitate the transactions. And this is all basically being brought around. We think about things like the metaverse, the kind of the way that technology is moving forward is happening so quickly right now. So it's basically saying that we don't want to limit individuals on basically the technological advances that are happening because different areas of the technological world are advancing at different rates and obviously we don't need to find bottlenecks where certain things might be more difficult because computer power, etc. can't keep up with that level of development. So here they talk about the problem. Authoring and publishing state-of-the-art graphics is an immense challenge and growing each day. The future demand for advanced rendering would lead to even more complexity and require higher resolution and more interactivity. Obviously that is all based around different computer powers, etc. Now these are the kind of main benefits of using the digital network. You've got network scalability, also the sleeping at GPU. So the most efficient rendering hardware are now a standard component of every phone or PC. However, the current system harbors many inefficiencies. Most developers' GPUs remain idle when they are rendering their own work, leaving a wealth of potential power to be waiting to be tapped into. Uh, a better use for your GPU power, obviously, if it's going to be working anyway, then you can earn tokens as rewards, and as well as that digital rights management. If you think about crypto mining, Bitcoin mining, etc., it uses a huge amount of power to provide proof of work mining. Now, this is really interesting, guys. If you're interested in crypto, like I'm sure you are watching this channel, a, a better use for GPU power. Today, a large amount of GPU power is used in proof-of-work mining, like basically Bitcoin, Ethereum-type mining, where the GPUs are put into like enormous crypto farms and they're, they're basically working out 
the equations to be able to increase the size of the blockchain and printing Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever that might be. Render envisions a better future where our network is empowered by the very work that GPUs are designed to do, bringing creative visions to life rather than just using them to process proof of work transactions on crypto blockchains. And this is like a kind of a map that allows you to visualize everything that kind of works within the program and how it kind of works. Your users requesting jobs. So think about websites like fiverr.com where you might be looking for work in a particular space. This then goes back into our NDR or the render network. And then this goes through to user processing jobs where they can find jobs, etc., which are then fed back into the system. Smart contracts, blockchains, basically rewarded in tokens. Whether you're looking for work on the network or whether you're providing work to the network, then you're gonna be rewarded in our NDR tokens, which are powered by Ethereum. Now in below, we've got a little bit of a list of different uses for render network. If you can't already see how it could be useful, you've got things like media, things like YouTube, etc. cetera, uh, industry, that's like kind of production, all sorts of different things, augmented reality, which is still fairly new, but starting to develop more and more, mixed reality. You've probably seen things like Mark Zuckerberg, etc., wearing the glasses where he's kind of looking around and can see real life, but as well as that different parts of information going on, gaming, medical, virtual reality, and I'm sure many other things. Looking into the team and the advisors, guys, you've got Jules Urbach, the founder at Render, and then down below, you've got a variety of different people who are supporting the project. They basically have a variety of different positions where most of them are kind of CEOs, or different kind of developers, etc., working on a variety of different big projects. You've got here like the artist Beeple, who's an enormous name in the NFT world, basically being one of the original kind of main artists in NFTs, creating these epic projects that have been sold for millions and millions of dollars. And as well as that down below, like the core team of people, all very transparent guys, all great to see transparent teams. So as that, you can see where they've been featured in the news, some big names there, and they have also some pretty impressive little blockchain partners, Decentraland, SIA or SIA, Basic Attention Token and Algorand. Now jumping over to the knowledge base, I'm not gonna go through all of this guys because the video will take forever. If you wanna come and find out more, link down below in the description. You can see that there is a lot of FAQs available here where you can go and find out loads of information about all the different features. First thing I just wanna take a look at is the token FAQ and take a look at some of the tokenomics. We've got maximum supply of 536 million RNDR and our current supply of around 109. There's various previous sales that have happened in the past but lots of other things are going on. There's various information here about sort of different uses of parts of the tokens, whether they're being used for development of the network, creation of NFTs, and much, much more. And then jumping across to the token metrics summary then guys, you can see the token supply and allocation is all listed here with 156 million tokens currently in circulation and up to a maximum of 536 million. They'd sold through various pre-sales and sales, they've given away a lot of tokens already in a 65% at the moment in escrow and will continue to be injected into the system as time goes on. There's various other information. You can see this is looking back through historical sales of the token and other things like that. Jumping across the roadmap, it gives information on the partnerships that they have with different tokens. So you can have a look at that. There's also a roadmap giving us information about what is happening in the future and kind of future plans for the project at the moment. You can see it's only a 10 person team, but obviously looking to continue to grow once they start investing in more marketing, etc., and a building of the platform to be able to create a service that can be used within the kind of space, to be used within sort of the design space, rewarding people for allowing them to use their GPU networks in order to increase the performance and to get away from lags in technology that are slowing people down from designing things to the level that they want in this ever more interesting and exciting world of technology that we live in at the moment. Jumping then over to Twitter, you can see at the moment 59.4 thousand followers, pretty big already. It's obviously been around for a little bit of time now and starting to grow all the time. There's more information of these videos and showing some of the artwork and things that are being created through using this technology, as well as various individuals talking about how they're using the system and how it's benefiting them. There's various kind of talks as well as potential giveaways, etc. So if you want to come over, learn more about the system and how it all works and maybe how you can benefit from it, then come across, give them a follow and then you can find out more information. So in summary guys, the render network is here to improve the ability of people to render various services, whether that be creating video games, 
things for the metaverse, etc., etc., so that they're not limited in what they can produce by the kind of capacity of the technology that's already in existence, as well as that rewarding people looking for work in render tokens and much, much more. It's obviously a well-established project with lots of transparency across it. There's loads and loads of information available on the website, so make sure you go and check it out down below after this video. Guys, if you've enjoyed that video, then make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Thanks very much for doing that. And if you are new to crypto, Web3, NFTs, and much, much more, and you want to continue to learn about them, then make sure you subscribe to the channel to be kept up to date with all of the latest happening. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you soon with another video. Bye-bye.